This is Kimberly's vlog. How's everyone today? Um, I'm going to touch on a lot of topics in my vlog. My first topic is a topic that has, um, I've been wanting to talk to for, about it for years now, but I haven't had the courage to talk about it. And I'm going to talk about it on my vlog today. Is people come in all shapes and sizes. Some are skinny, some are medium sized, some are big, like me. And I finally want to come out of the closet as a big girl and say that I am not ashamed of what I look like anymore, no longer. I have been for years, worried about how big I am, worried about how much I weigh today, how much I weighed yesterday. Um, most of the time my weight stays the same. It doesn't go up or down. I would appreciate no hate comments on this vlog. This is for anyone that supports what I'm saying. If you don't support it, don't comment on it. Yes, I am a big girl. I've been a big girl since I was about 10 years old. And I've heard all the names. You know what I mean? all the names. Piggy, Porky, you know, Hippo. You know, in junior high they call me Hippo Hubbard. You know, because um, I've got a big butt. <laughs> Mostly about butt and boobs, but um, I don't look my best day. I'm not wearing makeup, but that doesn't matter. I'm me, and I'm proud of it, makeup or not. Um, that's what I'm going to say today. I'm me, and I'm proud of it, makeup or not. Um, I've never used this ca camera angle before because I've kind of always been kind of self conscious about my chin here, my double chin. I hate it. But I'm being brave today. I'm going out on a limb. For the first time in my life, I'm saying, I'm big girl, and I'm proud of it. I'm no longer going to hide behind baggy clothes. Um, if I feel like I want to be sexy one day, I'm going to be sexy one day. I'll wear a little top if I want to. Um, which, um, I'm not going to let anything hang out or anything. It's just, I'm saying. I'm going to wear what I want to. Like this cute little top right here with the lace on the top, see? I'm not ashamed to wear it anymore in front of people. Because I'm not ashamed of my size anymore. I'm sick of hiding behind uh, all that. No more. It's the real me from now on. If there's a day that I'm not wearing makeup, and I don't look my best, I don't give a crap what you think anymore. Uh, people that don't like big people can kiss my ass. There are plenty of people that like big people. Uh, my husband included. He likes my size. He doesn't ashamed of it. I do have some medical problems that underlay my size. I do have a thyroid disorder. I do have certain medical problems. I have mobility problems. Not from my weight. From a back injury. Which made me gain more weight than I usually would. But this is the biggest I've been in my whole life. Um, I lost a lot of weight years ago. I gained it back because I hurt my back. And I couldn't get around as much as I used to. I use a walker to walk, but not because of my weight. Because I was born with um, a birth defect called hip dysplasia. It makes one of my legs shorter than the other. It's a little harder to exercise for me. Because one of my legs is shorter than the other. And the surgery is too expensive. I can't afford it. They basically have to break your hip bones. Re-break them and put them back in the right place. And I don't want to go through something that traumatic. Or I don't want to um, alienate my health any more than it already is. Thyroid is becoming a big problem. That's why I look so swelled right now. I'm just not that swelled up. I have a lot, of, a lot of water weight going on too. But excuses aside, well, they're not excuses. Just you know, they're the truth. Um, I'm proud of me because I'm a good person with a big heart, a big soul. The whole world's my friend. I mean, I think that we are all a family. We are all children of this earth. And we all need to learn to get along with each other. And this goes for everybody. Listen to me. Black, white, big, fat, skinny, tall, short, polka dotted, whatever. We all need to get along. We all need to become one. And quit just blaming each other for this and blaming each other for that. Something that happened centuries ago that I had no control over. What my ancestors did, by the way. This is to black, black people. Black people, African Americans, listen to me. What my ancestors did hundreds of years ago, I had nothing to do with it. I don't agree with what happened back then. 
I don't agree with what happened back then in the South. Because the South has a lot of bloody history. And I think it was wrong. Hurting people for their race is wrong. Um, it should be on what the individual does in this lifetime that counts. Not their skin color. My son-in-law is black. I have no problem with it at all. I love him because he's my son-in-law. He's married to my daughter. So he is my son, basically. And um, his family is my family. I want to tear down all the walls of stereotypes and racism in the South. Because not everyone from the South is racist. I just want everybody to know that. I am not racist. And I am from Mississippi. I'm an artist, I'm a poet, and I love all people. And I'm a Wiccan. <laughs> My religion is different too. I just think it's wrong. Sorry. I just get so emotional about this because it's so wrong to judge people before you even know them. Just because their skin is a different color. It doesn't make any sense to me. That's why today I'm on my soapbox. And I'm saying right now, I'm proud to be me. I love everybody. You should be proud to be yourself. Black, white, fat, skinny, whatever. I'm white and I'm fat. I'm a big girl. But, um... See, big girl. No shame anymore. Of her bigness. I embrace myself for who I am. I embrace you all for who you are. Because you're all special too. And don't let anybody tell you you're not. Young people, young women out there, young people, even boys, don't be ashamed of who you are. What you look like is not who you are. Because someday we all are going to pass away and this body, this flesh, is not going to matter anymore. It's going to matter what you did in here. In your soul. That's what's going to matter. You're not going to be judged by what you look like when you get there. <laughs> let me tell you right now. It ain't going to judge you by if you had Calvin Klein jeans or not. Or if you didn't have those expensive boots. You know, it's going to judge you by what you did in this lifetime. What you gave. The kindness you gave. If you gave any. And I will tell you right now, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than the rich men get into heaven. And that says it in the Bible. So, I'm not even a Christian and I quoted that from the Bible. Uh, it is easier. It really is. And it doesn't matter what you wear, what you look like. In the end, we're all the same. We're all judged the same. You cut anybody, their blood is red like anybody else. No Vulcan blood here, no green blood. We all bleed red. The same. We bleed the same. We cry the same. We live our lives the same. We experience joy, experience sadness. We're all the same. Skin color has nothing to do with it. I'm just fed up. I'm fed up with this thing about skin color. Enough already. Be happy. Be at peace. And love each other. Thank you for listening to my soapbox. Peace. Peace to you all.